It's something I like to talk about that disturbs me. And I'll start with a photo of this gentleman here. His name is Kenyon Lonsdale. If I believe that. I think I got it right. His name's Kenyon Lonsdale. If you recognize him, you know that he was a character. Or he's an actor that portrayed a popular DC character, Kid Flash, on the live action Flash show. And, you know, I really didn't mind. Some people were talking about his ethnicity and everything and the costume, which which I did find problematic in, in the bright colors, but more so that his the top of his head was exposed and it didn't look right. It didn't provide a good aesthetic. But then again, I didn't hold that against the show because I find the Flash costume at some points uh, to look ridiculous at times. So it was really no big deal, but I was just glad to see that Kid Flash was on the show and excited for his arc. But there really was no arc. He was just a peripheral character. And they never really did anything with him. They established him. Uh, they gave him a couple of pieces to do early on in his tenure on the show. But they never really did anything. And he gradually faded out of the show. He became like the odd man out, the thumb on the hand, as it were. And I find that disturbing because the CW has a campaign or has made it a point to talk about diversity and inclusion of women and men and people of color, as they like to put it, and uh, LGBTQ or the alphabet community in full force. That's what they said. At some point during his tenure, Mr. Lonsdale came out as a bisexual guy, later reclassified himself as a, a proto-non-binary. And shortly after that, he was off the show. I thought it was crap. You know, he made some guest appearances, but he was still a peripheral character. There was nothing, no agency given to his character or anything, you know. The best thing he got was an off-screen aside that he was fighting crime in the Barry's uh, disappearance into the Speed Force. Later, they decided to add him to Legends of Tomorrow, a show which is known for its representation, has a fine lead who just happens to be a, a lesbian or a bisexual. Uh, he was added to the show and I had high hopes for the show. You know, I was really excited about him being on the show because I want to see Kid Flash doing what he does. And Legends of Tomorrow was a time traveling superhero show at that time. When they added him to the show, he got even worse treatment. Matter of fact, I think one of the worst episodes I ever saw was uh, them traveling back in time to uh, have some plot dealing with Elvis, Elvis Presley, that is. Uh, helping him establish his career or to collect a room, a magical room. Uh, it's all bullshit, but he was on a show and he was supposed to be in the 50s in Memphis. And he was just walking around like he was in sunny California. You know, they didn't even try to do anything. We've established it to show as a throwaway show, almost a Saturday morning cartoon with mature overtones. But Mr. Lonsdale's character was just a peripheral character no matter what. Even though you think about that episode, that's what he was, you know. And they just had him walking around with his slick back hair and, you know, wearing, a, I guess, what would be a 50s appropriate attire for someone passing through. And I'm just coming to say, man, this is so disrespectful to my ethnic group. And it just shows the CW is a hypocrite, you know, they're full of it. There's no way in the hell would he have been able to walk freely around that town as a young black man in the company of a Caucasian female or anybody else, he would have been lynched within hours or right outright, or they would have tried to do that, which would have made it for interesting TV. But these guys are going for the low-hanging fruit because they're busy just trying to make funny jokes, uh, do plain romantic hack comedy, you know, and uh, the superhero stuff has become more and more of a non-issue. I just find it hypocritical. You know, and another character that was on there, uh, Firestorm, which is a composite character of two different people, one of which is a black character. Uh, he was just peripheral off the show, too. They killed off the one guy because he wanted to go work on Broadway. And then Amy re, re spliced the black guy with anybody else. They didn't try to reestablish his powers or anything, but just leave him on the show as a character. He left the show, too. They showed him walking off with his bag slung over his shoulder, whistling Dixie as he walked out of this, the time machine. 
you know. And they had a show where they went back to slavery times. They had that guy there, and they briefly touched on it. But then they had the nerve to play like a spiritual, uh, inward spiritual at the end of the, the, the show. And I thought it was crap, especially on the show. You had like a, one, you know, one black male character any given time. And you had like the uh, biracial female playing an African, <laughs> playing an African character or a descendant of African character at some point. She's a 40s era superhero, but she never act like she came from that era. She never showed any kind of 40s demeanor or anything. She's just a modern character. I'm talking about the Vixen character. And uh, she was thrown into a relationship with the big-headed guy that uh, Captain Steel or A Steel, she was thrown into a relationship with him. I'm not saying she should have been in a relationship with the brother, but I'm just saying, look, Look at it, you know. It sucks. What, what am I supposed to tell? I can't even watch this show with my my three year old. It's so crappy. It's so over the top, and it just has so much adult elements in it. While trying to appeal to whom exactly? I mean, who is the show for? What is going on with with the CW that I had to turn it off? I pretty much stopped watching the entire lineup. Stop watching the entire lineup because I was just tired of the hypocrisy and the BS and the non non superhero elements of the show. And they, they rarely do any superhero stuff. I really even see you really even see Sarah in her white canary outfit. I really like Sarah Lance's character. I like her and I don't care that she's uh, bisexual or lesbian, mostly a lesbian since she went over to that show. But I thought she's an awesome character. And if you want to talk about representation, do you have it with her? She's perfect. She can get down. She can do stunts. She can act. Uh, she carries a lot of uh, gravitas as a leader, you know? And the show has its problems, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, the treatment of the the Firestorm, you know, character, the composite with the black guy, the treatment of him and the treatment of Mr. Lonsdale, especially when he's a non-binary classified actor and their whole platform is about diversity. Uh, you got this bullshit where he just gets off the show. He says, oh, I got to go chase my white girl even though I'm non-binary on the damn show. You know, you know, I'm basically, you can see that he's not even really playing a straight character when he's on Legends of Tomorrow. He's just kind of asexual and he's just there. You know, he's just they just give him goofy bits to do. Even when he uses his super speed, it always results in some kind of kerfuffle. But it's okay because they're all supposed to be some kind of misfits or something. But, uh, you know, earlier in the show, they were misfits. But when they had to get down a battle, people, they took care of business in no uncertain terms. But then you got to contrast his character arc as a speedster with the reverse flash on the show, who was presented as a deadly threat, a deadly threat capable of fighting the whole team by himself and the fact that he could time travel without a, a, a ship or a mechanical aid. He could just go where he wanted to go. You know, most likely he can travel dimensions. He's so overpowered to Flash characters while writing crap by just being straight hacks. I don't know what, what I'm supposed to think when I see this, but I do know that I feel their diversity talk and their, their promo, promo pieces where they're talking about Women, the ABC community, and, and and people of color, not necessarily African Americans, obviously, because they're always shuffled to the periphery or made to look less than. You know, it's all hypocrites, all bullshit.